Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. I have a new unboxing video and today I'm going to show you the whole MFT release. Hopefully this video is going to be helpful since I have everything and you can take a close-up look and decide what you like. Now I also have another video posted today where I'm using some of these products to create birthday cards and you will find the link at the end of this video. So let's start with the stamps. This is the Hindrangias in blooms. I'm going to turn it over so you can see there are three stems. I love the size of it. It's going to make a big focal point on top of your card. Just color it with your favorite mediums. And uh, if you want, there are matching dies available to cut out the flowers. I like to store them at the back of uh, the stamp set, but please keep in mind that all the dies come separately. The release this month is perfect for birthday cards, so if you want some uh, stable stamp sets that you will be using throughout the year for birthday cards, you will definitely find something in this release. So let's start with this stamp with our two adorable girls. This stamp set is called Birthday Besties. They are both holding a balloon and it comes with lots of sentiments. This is the Take the Cake stamp set. It is absolutely lovely. I think it's probably my favorite from this release. It gives you cakes and uh, cupcakes. You can build up one of them with a cherry on top. There are lots of sentiments for birthdays. And I think this is a stamp set that you could use again and again for all your birthday cards throughout the year. And just like always, there are matching dies available for both of these stamp sets. And here is my second favorite stamp set from this release. This is the Birthday Buds and it comes with adorable images of little creatures holding balloons or going on a birthday. I absolutely love this stamp set and I did make a video which is one of those one stamp set three cards that you will find it linked at the end of this one. And here is another adorable stamp set. This is called Sweet Shop and it features cute little mice that are baking. Now I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see the images better. So here is a little mouse which is uh, baking cupcakes and here are two of them and uh, I think they are preparing their cupcakes. You will have lots of fun coloring this with your favorite mediums. It gives you also a bunch of balloons as well as lots of sentiments. And there are also just like always uh, matching dies even for cutting out that huge table. Here are a couple of smaller stamp sets which make great uh, sentiments for birthday cards. This one says sprinkled with love and I think it would go great on a shaker card. And here's another one that says happy 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 birthday. A nice large sentiment which uh, would work as a focal point on top of inked backgrounds. Moving on to the dies for this month, now I have a couple of sets here which are balloons. So you get a, an alphabet as well as all the numbers. You can use these dies to personalize your cards with balloons, like use the numbers for the age or other letters to spell uh, happy or birthday or the name of the recipient. And it also comes with uh, dies that cut out strings, lots of them. So with one passing, you can get lots of those strings. Now, this is quite versatile, however, if you chop off the bottom of the letters, then it's not a balloon anymore and you just have a simple alphabet. Here's another sentiment stamp that would work as a focal point as well that says you take the cake which uh, you can use as letters, you can use the negative space, you can make a shaker card, so many different ways to use this one. Now this is called Perfect Fit Balloon and uh, as you can see it has that uh, square at the top so you can fit it on the top right corner of your card. You can uh, color it in with your favorite mediums, you can use just simple colored cardstock, use the string and you are ready to go. You have a super quick and simple card that would look great in any color. Now here is another sentiment, again perfect for birthdays. This is called Swirly Birthday and it says Happy Birthday to you. And I like using those big sentiments on top of inked backgrounds or backgrounds that I created with my watercolors or even my alcohol inks. And uh, I have even more dies for you. So the first one is uh, a little mini set that uh, you can use to create a lovely cupcake. So you can build it up. You see you get um, all the bits and pieces, even uh, cute little flags to put on top, cherries and uh, little sprinkles that you add on top of your frosting. And that's called mini cupcake maker. And here's another die set. This is uh, going to cut out the words hip hip hooray. And it also gives you that uh, banner 
that has lovely stitching all around and it would make the perfect background to stick on top your focal points or your sentiments like uh, in this case. Now there are a couple of more stamp sets and dies that I didn't get in my box. But let's move on to the rubber stamp for this month. They always release a 6x6 background stamp. This one is called Number Jumble Background. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is packed with numbers at the background that you can color in. They have an outline. So you can use them as background for birthdays, for example. And if your recipient is 7 years old, you can only color in the number 7. You can go crazy with coloring for a super colorful background. You can do heat embossing techniques. You can go tone on tone, really versatile. And let's take a look at the stencil for this month. Again, six by six, and this is called Candy Stripes. It's one of those stencils that you can use again and again. It is quite versatile. You can use it once to create those stripes, or if you want, you can flip it to get crisscross lines. You can get loads of different looks by being creative. So that was a February release by my favorite things. I know they come up with uh, lovely designs and it makes it so hard to pick a favorite. Here is a link to another video that I made using one of the stamp sets to create three birthday cards. Also make sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know which of these products you want me to use this month on another video. Thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you all next time.